everyone welcome back to my channel mini reviews how are you today i've had a great fabulous day so far there's still time for life to kind of kick in no i'm kidding but no um this is the look that i filmed for you and i'm actually very happy with it look how beautiful those colors are i was just very um inspired by what i was wearing my top which i love and i thought hmm i did get my hands on the mini controversy and they have some pretty awesome colors and hmm, i did get my hands on the disney collection midnight masquerade palette as well from ColourPop, and they have the most badass colors as well so i thought to myself oh you have to you absolutely have to film a nice dark burgundy purpley eye look and i did it's right here i'm absolutely obsessed with this look and i'm absolutely obsessed with these palettes they play so well together they complement each other so beautifully that if you have these please try it out try out this look you're going to be obsessed and yes so here's the look that I did. This is what I filmed today. If you are interested in watching this look, please continue watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. another fun video for you and today i want to go ahead and go in with me with my mini controversy palette by jeffrey jeffrey star and shane dawson now i know this was like honestly so last year but i did get my hands on it and i feel like it's giving me halloweenish vibes i know that's not what they were going for but I, I mean, I feel like it is giving me some kind of halloweenish vibes although the look that i'm gonna do today is not necessarily a halloween look because I'm not that creative. But I want to go ahead and use maybe these colors and kind of, I don't know, I feel like my top is like inspiring me right now to use some of these colors. Like for sure, this one and this one. And I also wanted to go ahead and just quickly jump into the Disney um, Designer Midnight Masquerade by ColourPop as well. Because I, I did get my hands on this one and look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Disregard my nose, I have to get my nose done. But look at that. Anyways, yes, look at those colors. They're beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. And I wanted to go ahead and also use this one as well. So yes, let's get into the video. And I did go ahead and just prep my face. I feel like I have to put some concealer on my eyelids just to kind of prep that as well. But we can just jump in. I'm going to just do that like this. I feel, I honestly, I can't find, well, no, I haven't bothered to look to be quite honest my actual mirror that i would have on my vanity at my other place i just know, don't know where it is and also i'm hoping that these palettes don't have a lot of fallout if not again i'm going to prep the eye area like i always do it's just it's pretty late in the afternoonish now and i was out and about so i pretty much just had my base um ready to go maybe i should also retouch my base I don't know. I hope it doesn't look too bad on screen. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just quickly set my under eye because I'm having, I feel like it's going to have a little bit of fallout. And I want to come in and just prepare for the worst. Expect the best. Is that how that goes? That saying? And just, of course, always be very, always be very generous with the under eye. So we can prep that right there. I'm ready, honestly. Just kidding. And I cannot believe a whole week has gone by already. It's honestly insane. Okay, so he, this one is the mini controversy again. I'm sure there's like millions or hundreds of videos out there regarding this palette. But it is actually a really, really nice um, packaging. Look at that, that's actually pretty nice. And it is pretty heavy, like it's not cheap packaging. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually good, good packaging. Now, I'm hoping the lighting is not too bad. I do have my ring light, but I'm missing my other lights that I used to have. And then also I have, like, I'm using the natural sunlight. Not all the way, because I think it'll be too crazy. But okay, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and let me see which one should I do. Let me 
see. No, so there's there isn't really a base on this one. Maybe this one. Maybe Pit would be a good one, but it looks a little bit darker for me. I'm gonna go in to the mini controversy and I'm gonna go in with a cry on my couch. That Tana Mojo. We both know, or we all know who Shane was referencing when it came to that shadow. And we are here for it. Let me see. I'm gonna go with a flat Sigma brush as per usual. Again, you know how much I love my Sigma brushes. Oh, girl, there is some fallout for sure. Oh, and it has a mirror. Perfect. I just noticed that. I'm so bad at that. I go straight to the eyeshadows. Anyone else has that? It's like the makeup. Okay, she was pretty. Pip, because Pip is like a much darker shade. And I'm gonna put that on my crease. This one doesn't have a mirror, but I mean, honestly, who cares? Because this is absolutely adorable. I love me some color pop. Oh, I'm gonna go with Pip. Can I just put that all over my eyelid? So I went to the store and I went to go buy some stuff for the house, but the, they have like really cute, ugly pumpkins. Do you know, like, do you know what I mean by ugly pumpkins? Like, they're super freaking adorable. But they're like ugly to have like little bubbles. It's not very appealing. But I think they're actually perfect and they're beautiful because they're different. And I just, I love that. So I did grab one, two, three, six of them. And I have them in the front, you know, just for decoration. I was super excited about that. I was like, oh, they look so adorable. Let's give them some love. And I bought some. Um, so yeah, that was pretty fun. I also did end up going to Home Goods. I don't know if you're not from Texas. I mean, I feel like TJ Maxx is like everywhere, or Home Goods is like with TJ Maxx. They're pretty much everywhere, but it's like stuff for the house. And of course, I went early in the morning as soon as I opened to try to avoid people because I'm trying to be safe, keeping my distance, shopping while social distancing, you know. And I got a, I mean, they had some stuff, especially for like organi organization. As you know, TikTok, you go to that, you know, you fall into that rabbit hole of like organization, your kitchen and your fridge and your pantry. And oh my God, it's so expensive. Um, but I did go and I found some good stuff. I feel like honestly, I'm going to find what I'm looking for probably on Amazon.com for sure. They'll have all that I need in one place. But I like going out and about and walking around, even if I don't buy anything. Like it's always fun. Oh, and I did buy the most adorable leggings ever. They're so freaking soft. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like I'm going to be living in those for the next couple of months. Okay. That looks good. I think that went a little bit too ham on that. But that looks pretty, right? Then I think I'm going to go in with a more precise brush. Maybe this one. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. I don't know what happened to all of my Sigma brushes. I mean, I have them here in front of me. I can see them. But, like, my fluffy brushes, they didn't really have much, right? Hmm. I'm going to buy some more. Let's now go in with something a little bit deeper. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I feel like I'm going to go in with Expose. This one right here, just a little bit to kind of get that purpley, maroony vibe going, you know? And I'm going to use my e.l.f. eye brush. And I mean, this, I mean, honestly, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And I did end up watching the entire series because I honestly do love them. Like, I like watching them. I loved watching them. And then all, everything happened. And I was like, oh, very, you know, it's not a very good look. But I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to play with makeup. So I'm going to just put that on my outer corner as well that is a beautiful color and that's pretty pigmented i'm so sorry the light keeps coming in and out honestly it's just the sun setting maybe i should have waited i honestly need to find my backdrop so i can just block all the light i'm gonna just put it Not bring it in so much, just kind of leave it out there a little bit. 
and kind of go back little by little just so I can go ahead and really pack that shade on. I hope you can see it. Oh man, it is a beautiful shade. It's honestly stunning. I feel like that will look beautiful for the underneath the eye. That will look honestly awesome. Gorgeous shade. It does have a lot of fallout. Like I feel like I don't know if you can see it on the pan. But again, it's fine. We are prepped. We are good. We got this. We'll be okay. As long as it's a good shade and it looks good, we're good. No judgment. And kind of just slightly, slightly bring that sucker in <laughs> like that. So I got on Twitch last night. I know. I mean, I've heard of like Twitch. I'm not, I don't live under a rock. I know what that is. Or I, I've heard of that before. But my brother um, sent me a text message and he was like, hey, I'm going to start streaming, join. I want you to kind of join in. Okay, so I'm going to just, me, sorry, my chair. I'm going to just PSA, right? I am an only child. I know I've said in my videos, oh, only child. And then my brother, my brother, my brothers, my sisters. So let me, in case you were wondering, I was... I'm an only child, right? How do I, can I explain this? So I was an only child. My father remarried and he had more kids and that's how I have brothers and sisters. Easy, right? I don't know why I was thinking about that too much. So I didn't grow up with them. Um, we became closer as I got older in the last couple of years. But yes, regardless, they're my brothers and my sisters. You know, that's what that's. In case you were wondering, kind of make more sense. Just wanted to explain that a little bit better. Okay, now I do have that. I wish you could actually see it more on film, but I feel like you can't, but I can see it like in real life. So it looks pretty. So I'm happy with that. But I want to go in a little bit deeper. So I feel like I'm going to go in with New Dream. Love the name of this one right here. Just a tiny bit. And again, I'm going to use the same brush. Not a big deal. Oh, and let me just grab my other palette just because this one has a mirror. And that is also a beautiful shade. Oh, I keep going to the wrong one. Sorry. Anyways, I was talking about Twitch. Yes. So he said he was going to start streaming um, video games. Look, I'm not a gamer chick. I'm not a gamer person. Yes, I have a PS3. Yes, I like to play video games here now and then. I feel like now not so recently maybe in the past couple of years i for sure would spend hours which is crazy to even say out loud but yeah because it's i mean because it's me not because i have anything against people who play video games but he's like hey i'm gonna join i'm gonna be streaming join i said yeah of course you know i'm gonna of course support my brother let's do it let's see what all this twitching is about <laughs> and i actually it was actually pretty fun i stayed on there for a little bit over an hour which i feel like uh, you owe me, bro, because that's commitment. When he said he was going to stay up to 3 or 4 in the morning, I was like, wait a minute. I love you, but uh, am I going to be here for 3, 4, 5 hours? No, I'll give you an hour of my life. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, of course, link his Twitch down below. I don't know if it's the same thing as YouTube. I feel like it's not because Twitch is like an app because I had to download the app. But uh, anyways, I'll link his Twitch if you have, if you play video games, if you Twitch or if you have um, your partner who twitches, I don't think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, check him out, he's pretty funny, he's hilarious. So I will link that down below. Um, yeah, so that was pretty interesting, it was fun. It's another way to of course stay connected to like your family, people that you love. So it was pretty awesome. Now I'm gonna go in with the other eye and kind of same thing, just pack that on on the outer edge of the eye we're just packing and then we're gonna go ahead and just blend it out man color pop never does you wrong honestly like they're amazing their shadows are amazing love it and again i am using the color pop shade from their disney midnight masquerade dream which is beautiful i feel like i'm gonna be confusing people but as, i mean you know i'm using both palettes so i feel like we're okay and kind of just pack that in I'm honestly very excited for Halloween. I'm not a person, I mean, I love Halloween, right? Like I don't do the whole decorating. I mean, my house is decorated. 
I guess before, before I really wouldn't do the decorating. I remember when I was in my early 20s, I know, shocker, I look 15. No, but when I was in my early 20s, we would, um, me and my husband, we would, we were of course dating back then and we dressed up. I mean, by dressed up, I mean, I was wearing a super cute tight dress and it had like the skull head on my face or like the painting, the, I don't know what you call it, like makeup, skull face, no, sugar face. Sugar skull. Oh my god, my sugar skull. I'm gonna see if I can find that picture and insert it right here. It's a cute picture and I love it. But that was honestly, I think the last time I ever, you know, got all dressed up for Halloween. And this year, I feel like we can't because we're in the middle of a apocalypse. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Like I was excited to give candy give all candy i'm gonna of course if i don't know i feel like it's restricted in some places maybe not restricted and maybe not restricted in our location but like we can find a way to give good yummy clean and safe candy to people to kids i don't know we'll be here we're like we don't have any plans is my point we don't have any plans we have nowhere to go We'll just watch scary movies as per usual, which is awesome. It's like a little Halloween tradition, which I love so much. And we'll just do that. What are your plans for Halloween? What can you do um, in your area where you live? Maybe it's restricted wherever you are. I'm sorry if it is, but you can still have fun being in your house with your family, your loved ones. Excuse me. And throw a little party. Get a little wild. <laughs> Oh my god, I sound so old. Who am I? Okay, and just blend all that in. Okay, now I want to do deeper. Let's go in. Should I go in with controversy? <gasps> or no, I'm gonna go in with Gaston. Love it. Where is he from? What movie? Comment down below. We could be friends forever. I'm going to be more precise, more tight on the bottom of the outer at corner of the eye. I hope you can see it. I'm going to have to just film upstairs. And I was really avoiding to having to go upstairs and film because it's upstairs. <laughs> that color is honestly beautiful. I feel like I haven't used any of these Jeffree Star Shane Dawson palette. I mean, I used one or two. Bring it back in, bring it in. I want to be intense. What else can I talk to you guys about? Yesterday morning, I went to go pick up our mail because um, we had to order. I went to go order our keys for our mailbox like maybe three weeks ago. And they're saying that it's not going to get here. It takes about four to six weeks to get my actual keys for our mail. So we have to literally drive all the way to the post office to pick up our mail. And then, I mean, it wasn't, it's not a long drive. It's like maybe seven minutes away. It's not too bad. I'm just being a little baby. And then we went to Lowe's. I feel like we're such old people now because now we love going to Lowe's. Like it's exciting to see things for the house and for the backyard and the front yard and things like that. So now we're like looking forward to furniture or going to Lowe's. Who goes to Lowe's and is excited to buy clippers for like your branches. What happened to me? But we did that yesterday. We were doing a little bit of a gardening yesterday. So that was pretty fun. We went and we bought some mulch. And yeah, pretty much it. It's been a pretty good weekend so far. Which I love. And as you guys know, I love my Sundays so much. But because I feel like my Sundays are always more like relaxed and chill. They're like my cleaning day. But like relax, like I can get up, I can vacuum, mop, do whatever I do. And I would normally watch Disney movies. Every Sunday I would lay on the couch and just watch Disney movies all day. And I was like in heaven. But now I'm still I'm still busy when it comes to like keeping the, the house like needy and you know, kind of maintaining it. And honestly, I still have like two more boxes to go through, which is not bad right like we've only been here a couple of weeks and having already just two boxes is actually pretty darn good so i should just relax the rest of the day <laughs> just kidding let me go with the bigger brush just so i can um blend 
all that out. And you wanna blend by doing circle of motions, like that. It's gonna be a beautiful shadow. There we go. Now I'm gonna go in a little bit deeper. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics number six brush, and now I'm gonna go in with Controversy to really deepen that up. And then I wanna do this one because that one is beautiful as well, and it kind of matches what I'm wearing. So that's super cute. And just pack that again, really, really close to the outer corner. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. I'm thinking maybe this one can be like my apology, it can be like the over eye, the of uh, the main look, the main eyelid look, I guess. I'm gonna bring that in because I really want it to be that deep look, and then go back and do it over here. Of course, we're gonna pack that in. I mean, it's beautiful. Man, that's purple. Love it. Okay, so this one's a little bit crazy. Well, that's fine. Moving on. Okay, so now I feel like I'm at a good place. I'm ready. Done. Here we are. Thank you for watching. Just kidding. No. So I need to clean all that up. But I think I'm at a good place where I want to go in with the lid color. And I'm thinking about using my apology. I don't know how that's going to look. And I hope it looks good. Because if not, then ruined let me see how that looks fingers crossed it works out i'm gonna use my urban decay shadow brush and just a flat brush and let's take a look and just as i expected it doesn't show up i'm gonna have to use my finger can you see it i kind of wish i mean i'm gonna put it with my finger and then I'm going to wet my brush with um, Fix Plus or like setting spray. Oh, I got some right here. We'll fix it. And then, I mean, it feels really creamy. But I honestly don't understand why some of these shades just don't show up on an, with an eye brush. To fix that, it looks lovely, beautiful. But why aren't you showing up on a brush? Why? Explain to me why. Let me just get a makeup wipe which i love my hill country essential makeup wipes from h-e-b okay so i'm gonna go in with this one i'm almost finished with it so sad and then i'm gonna go back in the eyeshadow and let's see oh, i wet it i wet all my freaking mirror <laughs> so i cleaned my mirror with the wet makeup wipe hmm lovely there we go oh man that is a gorgeous absolutely stunning color love it do you see it it looks beautiful right looks absolutely stunning oh my god mm, beautiful beautiful i'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye and go in with a trusty finger make sure your hands are clean and pack that on. I'm in need of a manicure, you guys. I'm in a new location. Don't know my way around in this area just yet. So I don't know who to go to. I don't know who to trust to get these done. I might just drive back. I mean, it's not that far. It's like maybe 20 minutes away. But I feel like it's worth a drive. And I don't do highways. This might be something a little bit... I'm sure there's more of me out there, right, please? But I honestly, like, where I, where I come from is... I think they have like one highway, one expressway, whatever you want to call it. They don't have four or 500 million lanes like San Antonio does. So honestly, I get anxiety because I have like the news on my app, which I should just honestly delete the news because the more news, I feel like the more my anxiety, the worse my anxiety gets. But just car accidents left and right, left and right in San Antonio. And that's really, really scary for me coming from a smaller place, smaller city where that wasn't really the case at least i mean no because that was fine i never really heard about that stuff or as far as like accidents and things like that so now i honestly find a way to get to where i have to get to by avoiding the highway and i was talking to so i was talking to some of my colleagues at work some of my friends and they were like what like are you kidding me like for them the highway was just like the best thing i'm like no like honestly my anxiety gets really bad i feel like I've, it's gotten a lot better now than it was in the, maybe the past year almost two years because of things that have happened in my life and things that i've been through that really made it even worse but now that i feel like i'm 
healing, I guess, or feeling better and to just not watch the news, honestly, because just it's just oh the news is so depressing and it's just nothing but hate and I'm like no like I don't want to be a part of that I don't want to know it I'd rather live in my little fantasy world where everything is perfect and shiny but look how beautiful that color looks it looks good it's more burgundy now than purple but it's perfectly fine I can go back with some more purple just to bring it back just oh man that is a beautiful beautiful shade <laughs> let me go back to my purple or to controversy. Ooh, which I feel like now it's everywhere, right? Ooh, I feel like maybe it's not even showing up anymore because the bur burgundy is really overpowering it. But honestly, it's just beautiful. Honestly, this look is more than what I was, uh, what I expected. And having these two palettes really made that possible for me. Like, I feel like I couldn't have done, maybe I could, maybe I could have done this look with just the mini controversy, but I would have to go back in with these two back and forth, back and forth to really try to deepen that nice little like purpley, but like burgundy, reddish kind of undertones that the ColourPop uh, palette offered. And then as far as for my ColourPop, I feel like I could have done this Honestly, like I feel like this one would have been exactly like this one, even though it's a different formula with some some actual setting spray. I would have really made that look intense, just like this one, I feel. So both palettes are honestly really, really nice. I love the actual final look. Just kidding. And let me go back. Let me just make sure I go with the fluffy brush. Oh, I forgot this one is still pretty bad in the mirror. And let me just blend all those out like so. Oof, my hair. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna do my eyebrow bone in a little bit. Let me just fix this and clean that up and dust off the powder. I kind of want to go in with a more concealer. I don't know. I mean, I already have powder on. So concealer on top of powder is not honestly the best idea. And what I could have also done is I could have used tape to really sharpen that look. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's go for some concealer. Just right here. Just to kind of clean that up just a little bit. That looks good, right? Let me just set it with my trusty setting spray. Sorry, setting powder which is my air spun. I love it. I can't, I refuse to find anything better. Just kidding. I only just love it. Kind of just set all that up. And then I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs um, bronzer. Love this stuff. I've had this stuff for a long time. As you can see, like mascara. Man, it's dirty. Let me just clean that up. This is quite embarrassing. But I've used this baby so much. And honestly, like, I love it. It's a little bit dirty, but it's gigantic and it lasts forever. I've had this for almost two years. I'm not even lying. And I feel like I use it every single day. How much product is in here? 0 0.8 ounce, 25 grams of product. Is that a lot? I don't know. I'm gonna go in with my big brush and then bring some warmth to the face. So yes, I was looking at ColourPop and I want to get their new um, palette. It's like the stone. No, it's like it's like all their grays pretty much. It looks freaking adorable. I want it. I might just put an order in right now because I think it's actually on sale for 25% off. So if I were you, I would go to ColourPop.com. They're currently on sale. Use discount code mini reviews on your way out. Just kidding. I wish. Yes. Mmm, warmth. What bronzer does for you, honestly, is amazing. Then I'm gonna go back and just dust all that off. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Chanel um, blush. This one is the Jewel Tojo. I'm just kidding. This one is the Rose 72 Rose. Mmm. Some people don't like the scent of like Chanel's blushes or like even their powders. I feel like have a little scent. Okay, no. I mean, yeah, it's like perfumey. I mean, I've used this quite a lot. I also, and that is pretty gross. But whenever you're on the go, you need a quick little thing, right? Anyways, um, and I honestly love them so much. I do. Mm, I just, it's like Chanel. I don't know. I love it. 
I'm gonna go in with a my Morphe. Just kidding. My gosh, they're everywhere. My BH Cosmetics brush. This one is number three, and this one's more like pinky. So I thought it would look so cute. Hopefully it looks good because I'm just focusing on my screen on my phone. It's pretty, right? Put some in the temple of my forehead as well, always. I'm gonna make sure your face looks really nice. Mm, on my nose. Mm -mm. I love that cute like little rosy pinky look of the nose, right? Of course, as of late, I've been honestly loving my Jaclyn Hill palette. Use this sucker every single day. It's just good, you know? Sometimes it's hard when you find things that you like because then you don't want to switch out because you already found the thing that you like. But it's like, how am I supposed to find new things that I like, you know? Okay, so now that I'm, I'm almost done, I'm going to do the outer, the bottom of my eyes. I'm going to go with Controversy, I feel, will be the most fitting color to really make that eye more purple. And that's where the smokiness comes from, you know? Then I'm gonna just dust that off and I'm gonna go with that exposed shade, which is a little bit lighter. And kind of just try to blend those shades together. You never wanna go in with a darker shade all the way into the corner of your inner corner of the eye, because that's going to make your eyes look smaller, unless that's what you're going for. If you want more of a white-eyed eye, then you wanna go in darker, lighter. I hope you can see how like it's white, like lighter and then darker. I do wanna go ahead and go back and dust that off. Maybe I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna spray some more and I'm gonna go in with um, Controversy again, but I do wanna just intensify that just a tiny bit more in the outer corner. Love it! I'm gonna clean my brushes. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Spinning Wheel from my Disney Enchanted, right? Midnight Masquerade, way off palette and i'm gonna go ahead and just do the brow bone with some magic i mean the shade is called spinning wheel but the highlight on the brow bone is always magical love that let me go ahead and do my mascara should i add a little bit of liner i'm gonna add a little bit of liner i love it now you can really see the color i think like the sun is ruining my look now i can find my freaking NYX liquid 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 eyeliner it's honestly awesome because it's super thin i feel like i've showed it on my other videos but i can't find it mm. this is my all-time favorite water ever smart water and it's a cucumber lime mm. delicioso okay I'm gonna go with this one. It's a little bit thicker, which I'm ho I'm gonna probably mess it up. But I wanna do super thin line. Ah, I messed up. Okay, that's not bad. Me and my awkward hand, because I'm lefty. Perfect. And again, I, I have no idea where my tweezers are, but like my eyelash thingy. I'm with my cover girl. Cut, cut, cover girl. Focus on the base. I'm gonna make sure, I feel like the trick is dropping. <laughs> Perfect. Now, it cannot be used ever again. Oh, because did I not mention I have carpet and it legit ruined this mascara. So I have to throw this one away. I'm pissed. Okay, I have my Maybelline trusty mascara right here. So you wanna focus on the base of your actual eyes, eyelashes, to really get in there so they can look thicker. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just do the bottom of my eyelashes. Then I'm gonna go in with some brown eyeliner. Like always, my BH Cosmetics. And that is it, everyone. We are done with this look. And here it is. What do you think? I honestly love this eye look. Look how beautiful the colors are. I love how it complements what I'm wearing. I love that it's a nice balance. The like intensity on the eyes, very nice and like. You know, she's a good girl on the lips, so I love that. I honestly am very excited that I have these palettes in my collection now because they're honestly really, really great. And, you know, the mini controversy, oh, I was... 
I spent so much time trying to get my hands on the palette, any of their um, palettes when it first launched. I was on checkout for what seemed like an hour and I thought, yes, I got my hands on the palette. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play with it. And then it kicked me out and I lost my place. And so then I, I said, you know what? Forget it. Like, you know, you don't want me. I'm not going to go and want you either. No, I just, you know, life happened. Things happened. And I just honestly didn't think back or didn't really think about, oh, let me grab it, you know? But now that I did get my hands on the Elisa Mini Controversy, I'm actually very happy with it. It's actually a very good palette. The colors are absolutely amazing. I do love them. And yeah, it's an overall great palette. I'm very excited also for my designer collection Midnight Masquerade palette as well. Honestly, this is absolutely beautiful. How beautiful is that? To have something to be part of your collection, if you're like a makeup lover, this is a must because this is just... And me, I love Disney. I love Disney so much. And the colors are really beautiful. I'm going to want to, of course, come back and play with this one. But yeah, I love these palettes. They're absolutely beautiful palettes. I love them. They're really, really pretty. If, if you can get your hands on these, I recommend them. They're a must. Honestly, great, great palettes. Love them. But yes, that's it, everyone. I had so much fun filming this for you. I've missed you guys so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. You already know how I do that every video. I hope it's not annoying, but it's like sometimes you need that positivity, that niceness from people from time to time. So yes, I hope you're having a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. That really does help me out a ton. We are at 89 subscribers with our family and that just makes me so happy and it's very, very exciting to see, you know, how far I've come. And again, I've only been here for about a month, so don't come for me saying, oh, you just started. I understand, I just started. But it's honestly fun. Every time I see that number jump one more subscriber it makes me so happy that people are interested in what I have to say, what I have to share. And they're just, you know, coming to my channel to be with me, hang out with me. Hopefully I am bringing you some happiness and positivity to your life. Or maybe you just want that white noise on the background. I get it. You know, I completely understand. I am honored to be that white noise on the background. So yes, with that said, I feel like I've been ending this video for the past 20 minutes. Yes, thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and your support. And we'll see you next time, bye. drop the shadow oh, I think that's the garage <laughs> I'm filming what I was saying about I don't know what I'm going on and on and on